Hello everyone, this is Adam with AEW Main Treasure Ventures. Today, we're back over at Pond's End. We're going to dive in the swimming area, metal detect anything that shouldn't be there, get it on out. Just like we did last year. Alright, the other thing I want to look at is the difference between this year and last year. My hope is I find a lot less stuff than I did last year. So I'll show what we found right here last year. This is what we pulled out in 2022, around 105 targets total at Pond's End. Let's get ready. Let's see what we can find this year. Our first find was a banger. It's a nine two five silver rose earring with a black stone in it. I believe the stone is onyx. It's darker than it comes through on camera. Okay, we got something cool. This was one of my favorite finds of the day. It's a 925 anchor necklace right near the float that everybody jumps off from. I'm also testing out a new Orca Torch dive flashlight. This model is the D710. Now throughout this video, I'm trying to figure out the best way to use it while searching for treasure. I'll talk more about the dive light momentarily. But first, let's find some more stuff. This snail's scientific name is Helisoma ansips. It's the most widespread snail in the state of Maine. Its shell has a flattened shape. It is a type of ram's horn snail. They feed on bacteria, protists, and algae, and live two to three years. They typically remain in the same general area their entire lifespan, moving just a few meters at most. Predators include the ribbon leech, crayfish, fish, and birds. We found a bag twisty. I was recently contacted by one of the dealers for Orca Torch dive flashlights to see if I wanted to test and review the Orca Torch D710 dive flashlight. This light can go up to 3000 lumens. Let's take a closer look at everything that comes with the purchase of the Orca Torch D710 dive flashlight. The protective storage case, the USB cord for charging the battery, the lanyard, three extra spare o-rings, in case one goes bad you have some backups, the user manual, warranty card, Orca Torch product sheet, Two rechargeable batteries. I like this as I can use one until it's out, recharge it while I'm using the other battery. Most importantly, the Orca Torch D710 up to 3000 lumen dive flashlight. It has four output modes or settings, turbo, high, middle, and low settings. 
The four settings and run times are high, 1700 lumens, run time is 1 hour and 40 minutes, middle is 800 lumens, run time 3 hours 40 minutes, low is 400 lumens, run time 7 hours and 40 minutes, and turbo, which is 3000 lumens, the manufacturer has no specific runtime given. However, I tested it on turbo five times from full battery to when the battery was out, and I was getting around 50 minutes runtime. For treasure hunting, I found the turbo was a little hard to film underwater because it was so bright, especially for digging up targets. I mostly used high or middle settings. I found that the 800 to 1700 lumens is more than enough light for what I'm doing underwater. After testing the light, would I buy this dive flashlight with my hard-earned money? Yes, I would. I personally would recommend buying the hands-free wrist holder so that you're not having to carry the light in your hand, especially if you are detecting underwater. Would I recommend this to you, either as a primary or secondary dive light? Yes, it's lightweight around 200 grams with the battery in it. It works great underwater, up to 150 meters down. That's 492 feet. It's built to last with aircraft grade high strength aluminum material. It has the latest diamond grade hard anodized seawater corrosion resistance finish. And now it comes with its very own carrying case. Whether you're diving with friends, rescue diver, a dive guide, or run dive classes. It's great either as a primary light or even great as a secondary light. It can easily be attached to your BCD vest and use it as needed. I'll add a link where you can go and get the same Orca Torch dive light. All this information will be in the description down below the video. Just click on where it says more. This is something I haven't heard a lot of other videos talk about. It states in the user manual under product warranty, make sure you register your Orca Torch products through the official website, www.orcatorch.com, to get an extra one year warranty on your dive flashlight. Up next, there was some trash on the beach, so I picked that up, piece of plastic, A luggage tag. Right when I got back in the water, I found one of our fish friends. Oh. Our next target was a lead fishing weight. For a moment, I thought this was the best find of the day. I thought it was gold. It's a money clip. Unfortunately, it's not real gold. found an earring. Next target was a bottle cap. This is a quick link. It's kind of like a carabiner. Oh. 
There it is. Here it is. Get a belly button on it. A belly button ring. A belly button ring. It's a little blingy. This was a pretty cool earring. It has a dog paw and blue stones in it. Look at that. It has some stones in it. Little heart, there's a little heart, there's a... This looks like a little paw. Huh. That's pretty cool. I absolutely love the Orca Torch D710 Dive Flashlight. It has a lot of great features built into it that I really like. For example, the battery power indicator that is built right into the switch. When it's green, it means there's over 30% battery life left. Red means you have 10 to 30% left. And blinking red means less than 10% left. The dive light has a number of other protections, like the overheat protection, along with the over discharge protection functions. The narrow focus 6 degree light beam can really focus the light where you need it. For me, it makes a great dive light option for diving on shipwrecks, and I can use it for helping find the treasure along with cleaning out the swimming areas of stuff that shouldn't be in the water. I also want to thank Ode Pro Outdoor Store on Amazon USA for donating the Orca Torch D710 dive flashlight so I can test it out and review it. I truly do believe whether you're a recreational or professional diver, you'll find the Orca Torch D710 dive light useful in any underwater activities. With max 3000 lumens, the D710 is one of the strongest torches in its class. You have plenty of brightness settings to choose from if you prefer less power. It runs on one Orca Torch 21,700 5,000 mAh rechargeable batteries with Type-C charging port that makes it easier for you to charge it anywhere. It's compact, super lightweight, easy to use, and built to last. Remember to go into the description for the link to get your Orca Torch D710 dive flashlight today. Let's take a closer look to everything that we pulled out of here today. I found a few things on the beach and about 40 targets in the water. Most of those being pieces of old nails, a few pieces of glass, and a bunch of random other things. We only found a couple of coins. My favorite finds are the jewelry. We got two earrings, a belly button ring, and an anchor necklace. The carabiner looking thing that's called a quick link, that I'll be able to clean up and use. I want to thank you all for checking out the video. I love you. See you next week. AEW out.